Hello everyone, welcome back to Film Your Film. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Gaurav and I am a filmmaker from India. And on this channel, I share my experiences with you, whatever I have learned in the field of filmmaking over these years. So if you are also a filmmaker like me who wants to enhance their skill set, become a pro in their field, feel free to join me on this channel. Please hit that subscribe button below. And in today's tutorial, I will teach you how to key out chroma using Final Cut Pro X. If you are using any other software like Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects or DaVinci Resolve, the process is basically the same, the techniques are same, only the names or the technical terms, they differ in these softwares. I will try to cover Adobe Premiere Pro also in this tutorial, but mainly we will be focusing on Final Cut Pro X. And I find Final Cut X one of the best softwares for keying out a chroma or green screen. Let's dive into today's tutorial. So we are inside of Final Cut 10 and within few easy steps you will come to know why I find it the most easiest and intuitive software for keying out chroma and yes one of the most advanced also. And I have here imported three clips into my timeline, three different clips to narrate three different scenarios. Here I have a clip from red camera and since it is short and log and you can see lack of green color. So I have two options. Here I go to effects panel and I type in gear. Simply drag and drop. And then you can see this is what happens. But if I do just one more step before this that is go into color correction increase contrast and dial up saturation just a bit so that my software will be able to recognize green color accurately and then I drag and drop here then you can see the software performs a much cleaner and a better key but let us say you don't opt for the color correction and this is what happens you s when you simply drag and drop here here you have sample color option where you can select the color range you can tell the computer yes this is my green color and voila like that it gets keyed out very perfectly here i have a custom background beneath it uh, which is white in color i have made it a habit i can see my key properly whether what is keyed out or not if you go to the keyer options in your inspector panel under the view you have composite you have matte and then you have original when you click on matte all the white areas are the areas which have to be retained and the blacks are the green, uh, is the chroma which has to be keyed out and the blacks need to be perfect black there needs to be a perfect separation between black and white if I play it back you can see some noise here that's because there are holes it did not you know key perfectly is an option fill holes when I drag up the slider it automatically fills the holes and makes it quite clean make sure not to overdo it do it just the right bit and then I click back to composite alright here I go to matte tools and there are a few tools you can see a black line along this key sometimes it is green in color so I can either shrink it you know it shrinks the subject see what happens when I click shrink so make sure not to overdo it the best practice is to remain between 0 and minus 1 or minus 2 at max so I'll do it minus 1 then there's an option to soften the edges see what happens it softens the edges I'm just dragging the slider up all the way just to tell you what difference it makes so again not to overdo it very little because edges should be sharp then there's erode here's what erode will do it will erode the colors inwards so you have to strike a balance between shrink, soften and erode. You have to just play around until you uh, find the perfect sweet spot. Then there's light wrap. As the name suggests, it wraps around the light as if there was some light around the subject. Again, not to overdo it. You can see it's a good key. I am satisfied with it. And beneath it, you can, you know, put any kind of background that you have. All right. This was quite simple. Moving on to the next scenario. There are a couple of more options which I will explain through different examples. So stay tuned until the end of this tutorial. You can see green is pretty much faded. I'll perform the first step again here. Just to increase contrast, dial up the saturation like that. And drag and drop here. I'll just turn off the backgrounds. Now you see there is hotspot. There's one step that you must do before. That is draw mask drag and drop and under draw mask I will just draw a mask around the subject so that 
I can focus only on the area that needs to be cleaned up and like that you already have a very good key there's one thing that you have to make sure that the draw mask should never be above gear otherwise you will see this white line it should always be after the gear so like that here's something you can see you you, you know I can see some green spill on my face I will go in the it's inspector tab options under the gear and here you can see spill level if I decrease it you know it introduces more green on my face and if I increase it it introduces magenta overall which is the opposite of green and like that rest tools you know are the same you can play around and match it with the clip behind here I have Premiere Pro open for those who are working inside of Premiere Pro it is very similar I, as I told just the names of the tools or the terminology that differs under the effects tab you just have to type ultra and here goes ultra key under the key you have to drag and drop it and here under ultra key you select key color color picker and just pick the green color like that you have a clean key these are the crosses I do not want you can go under opacity here you can simply mask out the area the tools are similar in you know Premiere Pro here in the ultra key you can see matte generation and then matte cleanup here choke choke is similar to erode or shrink tools inside of FCP and then you can just play around with it until you find that you know perfect key all right coming back to final cut this is the third kind of situation where I have a tracking shot just dragging and dropping the gear effect and then check in the mat if I have any you know kind of holes and you can see a lot of noise around in here so I will use fill holes to fill up the holes and then I have a perfect green screen keyed out okay and then I go to composite and I want to have a painting in the background all right so I have a painting and now since I have placed trackers on this shot this shot needs to be done inside of after effects where I'll do the tracking and by using the mask I will mask out these trackers afterwards and then maybe you you know I can color grade it introduce blue channel like that increase contrast and like that I hope you found it useful and easy all right so this was the tutorial on how to key out green screen and I hope you found it super easy and useful if you learned something please uh, hit that like button below and do not forget to subscribe on the channel until then thank you for watching film your film